Hey you guys, welcome back to another Kimball's Corner. Um, today I'm doing the Jane Davenport uh, Art Venture and I have it on my phone, so I can't show you. I didn't think ahead. Uh, basically, oh, oh, I have my iPad here. So today we are doing Irresistible in Iceland. You're welcome. Basically, since we're in quarantine, you can't really do a lot of traveling right now. Um, it's just a fun idea to kind of look into other countries and cities and draw something that you find interesting there. So for Iceland, I just did a search for some landmarks and I found one and I just really don't know how to pronounce it. Um, Hiv oh man, Hivitserker. Hivitzerker, Hivitzerker, C stack. Uh, it looks like, um, well, okay, to me, it kind of reminds me of an elephant, but it is a stone troll or a troll who's been turned to stone. And here is an image of it. I thought that was cool. Why not turn that into a big, huge earring? Why not? So I'm gonna use my Jane Davenport products just because I wanna post it in the Jane Davenport group and it wouldn't make sense to use other products and post it in that group. That's not what it's about. I am gonna open up the magic wands and I'm gonna sketch out, I'm thinking I'm gonna do a profile of a woman's face with like this chonky huge earring on. And I just wanna pick a color to draw her in. I haven't used colored pencils. This is my, I think this is an Arteza watercolor book. So we'll see how these lay down in there. I'm not sure yet because art supplies lay down differently in pretty much everything you use. Most importantly, I made like the most delicious cup of coffee today. I need to start measuring these things out. That is delicious. Okay, enough dilly-dallying as some say. Let's draw a profile. I'm gonna make her kind of, kind of interesting looking maybe. Not a typical profile. Okay, it's a pretty typical profile. I basically just elongated the nose a little bit. And I don't want to do too much here because I don't know how big I'm making this earring thing. Hmm, open or closed eyes? Maybe kind of open? Just draw the eyeball. And then we can draw the slits for the eyelids. Give her some huge lashes and like a lash line. A nice fine eyebrow. So I do have some things to talk about. I might, well no, I am going to cut back on my Friday videos, these videos, um, cause I'm gonna switch over to doing more lives on Sundays around 7 p.m. I mean, I'll try and get it to going at 7 p.m. But you know, life happens. So it could be a little early, a little late. And I'll try to update on YouTube if those times do change, but it will hopefully always be Sundays at 7 p.m. New York City time or Eastern Standard Time or Eastern Daylight Time, whatever it is, just because these videos take up so much space on my computer and so much time and they take, they do take forever to do. So I will save these kinds of videos, the, the edited videos, I will save for bigger projects that I want to cut out a lot of dry time and a lot of boring parts. And uh, I will do a lot more other stuff with the lives. It's more fun doing live. Like I can take your guys' input and we can create images together. And I like that. If you don't like that, I am sorry. <laughs> but that's, that's what I'm gonna start doing. And, uh, and I mean, the videos are gonna be up anyway, so you can see what we get up to on Sundays. And maybe on occasion, I'll do like a different time. It'll still be on the weekend, but a different time just so other people can like join in. So I will wait on that to, I mean, I'm not gonna give out a time just yet. I'll have to figure something out. But just a heads up that I will be cutting way back on these videos. All right, now I have to pay attention to what this structure looks like. The Hivite Circer, I, I can't pronounce it. I apologize tremendously on my lack of pronunciation skills. I'm going to have to change the look of it just a little bit to get it all on the same page. 
It is a really cool structure. I want to see like somebody standing next to it so I can get an actual size comparison because it does look quite large. This kind of all connects and then there's a little cutout under here. Kind of like that. And that'll be her neck. And that's her neck there. And then her hair. I could just make her bald. And we'll give her some other piercings up here. Or ear cuffs if you prefer. Should I make her bald? Yeah, why not? All right, so I'm gonna throw down some different colors and then I will watercolor over the colored pencils. Get a little sharpen. Oh, I used a different sharpener downstairs. Now I gotta like reshape the whole tip of it. All right, so this has greens and grays and kind of like yellowy chartreuse colors. So we'll see what we can get. Oh, and it's even got some rusty, some rusty color. Mm, I'll try this one. And obviously I am not gonna try and match it perfectly, but I am gonna try and get some of the similar colors. That's about it for that rusty color. Can just throw a little yellow into it. And then for the most part, it's gonna be this, like a gray. Just kidding, there is a touch of rusty on that. A little bit here. Just doing it once over. Okay, I think for the most part, we got the rusties in. The rusty crusties. There's a lot of green. Like how gorgeous. I wonder how people feel about their landmarks in their own countries and cities. Do they love them? Do they just kind of forget they exist? Like are they just there now? Like they're so used to them? Cause like when Rocky and I went to Italy, every corner we went around, <laughs> we were like, this is amazing. This is beautiful. And I just wonder about the people that live there and see it every day if they're, you know, I'm sure they still love it and think it's beautiful, but I, w I just wonder how much so, or if it's just kind of like, well, there it is, I see it. Or like, oh, that's the corner where I turn to go to work. <laughs> All right, and there's a lot of like hints of green and then like yellow comes into play. All right, I'm just gonna gray it out. It does have a lot of white, which could be salt or calcium or something, I don't know. That's not my area of expertise. And yeah, my nails looking real good. Don't be hating. Then along the bottom it has kind of greenish, yellowish up here. And then, I mean it's more brown too. I should throw some brown in. Has a bit of the rusty reddy color back here. Throw in a touch of this brown. And I think we're good on that. Got the basics in. Let's draw her face in. I'm debating if I wanna try and do natural colors, crazy colors, just kind of mix it all up. red in her nose. It'll help tie in the colors down here. Into, hmm, into a little dark blue. I'll use the blue as my liner, nostril, eyelashes kind of stuff. The darker lines, I guess, really is all it is. bring in some purple. Hmm, do I want to go kiss kiss? I think I'll do try mystic first. It's a little bit darker than the other one. It'll be a nice kind of just fade out from that blue. I love doing colorful faces. I'm getting a little sketchier as I go too. Why? I'm not entirely sure. I just like it. And you should do what you like when you draw, or when you paint, or create any kind of artwork. And 
I'm gonna bring some of that green color up into her eye. Just a touch of the yellow. Am I crazy? Oh, I'm like, where did I put my blue? I'm not sure how these, um, how the watercolors are gonna lay down. That'll be fun to find out. Let's bring in, wow, I use that color a lot. Let's bring in this color. The Kiss Kiss might be good for shading. All right, getting a little crazy with it, that's fun. Um, do a little pink on the ears, pink on the cheek. Mmm, loving it. Let's add some blues in, just to mix it up a little bit. Kinda just totally forgot about that area down there, so, uh, you know. Filling it in now. I wonder how heavy that earring is, because it looks really heavy. All right, let's put these aside. And I do have a ton of different watercolor palettes. Oh, not a ton, okay, I have all three of Jane's watercolor palettes. And the Bright palette is my favorite. Probably gonna use it. Let's see, what other ones? I mean, we could do the neutral too, have some nice grays and stuff in there. Let's use these ones. Get my little spritzer out and get them activated. And we'll just damp the page a little bit. Just get everything going. And sip some coffee, because that's important. Delicious. I got gunk on it. Gunk never hurt anybody. I'm going to, so for her hair, I wanna do like a gray purple color. Just this part back here. Maybe with a little blue added. Oh, the watercolor kind of stains this. So that tells me I should really wet it. I thought this was a watercolor book. Maybe it's not. Doesn't matter. It's not going to stop me from painting in it. All right. Let's get a skin tone happening. Let's do some spice and some buff. Touch of cocoa and it needs a little more. Ooh, that's kind of a pretty color. It's very creamy. Let's see how this goes down. Gotta work fast because I don't want it to have weird lines. And, and we got weird lines. <laughs> oh well, I tried. Kind of let that dry a little bit. Get a little bit of color for her eye. The whites of her eyes. A little red. Let's do a brighter red for the lips. This cannot be a watercolor journal. What journal is this? What am I working in? I mean, it feels like watercolor paper. I feel like this is, I mean, I've done watercolors in it. This might be like a rogue piece of paper. It's textured on that side, but like, I've done other watercolor things in here and they've turned out totally fine. So this is weird. Like this one piece of paper and it's like glued in weird. Like this is all strange here. I had to like tear it open. I don't know, something is going on. Something is afoot at the Circle K. Just need to leave in some of these white marks.
and I didn't leave any. There's like a whole chunk of white mark down there, but I panicked apparently. And we'll just kind of dab in some. That green's a little too green. Let's put some yellow to it. And I can bring in a touch of that rusty color. I'm kind of exaggerating that rusty color just a little bit. Just adding a little more because it's pretty and it adds interest to my piece. Don't really see much of it in the middle of the rock. All right, let's give this a little dry and we'll work another layer on it. All right. So I'm gonna give her a purpley brown. I don't know if you can see that. I shall switch these. I'm just gonna add some purple to that skin tone and maybe a touch more of the spice. And we're gonna try, it's still a little damp. We'll work it down here first since it's dark. Just fill all that in. And obviously it's not gonna lay down where the colored pencil is just because the colored pencil is kind of like a waxy seal. Let's get a little pink on her cheek. Or, you know, go all out. Trying to add some texture in. This paper is warped like crazy. All right, let's add a little more detail to our rock. Let's see, it's kind of dark. Let's darken up this gray with some black. Need a touch of blue. Gonna start layering in some depth. Maybe mimic the same idea with the texture in her hair. But probably not. This looks this is a little rougher. Kind of rinsed my brush off. I'm hoping it'll just bleed out a little. All right, well, I'm not loving that. It looks very messy, but kind of pretty. I don't know. I'm gonna color in her eye a little bit more. Oh, I need to fix that with some colored pencil which I might actually switch back over to. Put these out of the way. Let's give this a really good drying. It's like bleeding through. I don't know, I'm not in love with this paper. All right, this paper is awful. It's like warping like crazy. I've been trying to like flatten it out as I dry it. Not very successful. All right, some colored pencils back. So I got this case from the Jazzy Art Box. Didn't love that, but it does have some really cool things. It was fun to try a lot of new things, but I'm gonna see how my Jane Dunport glitter markers work on this. Quite nicely. I mean, the paper is really absorbent, so it's like killing the marker quite quickly. Did have a little sparkle. I don't know if you can see it, but her earrings are a little blingy now. So put that aside, and I think, hmm, I do, I do like my blues. I might do a lot of the pencil work with blue. And just try and ref 
find some things that I don't love. Oh my gosh, this paper is bubbling up everywhere. It's like everywhere I have to draw, I have to hold the paper down. That is not something you want <laughs> to have to do. I'm gonna go pink over the top. Just want to put a little pink in her hair, because why not? Let's go back to that blue. Still wet there, I can feel it on my arm. And yeah, let's take some purple, maybe I'll do this one. I figure since it laid down a little weird in one spot, I'm gonna make it go all over the place so it looks a little more intentional. All right, interesting, I might say. Uh, let's get some red. Added to those lips. And a little more on the nose. Alright, let's bring out the white paint pen. Oh, wait, let me. Hmm. Mm -mm -mm. I just want to add a little extra oomph to her pupil. I kind of got lost when I did the colors on it. Debating how I want to do the rock. If I want to do white, why not? Let's make it stand out. All right. I think that might be it. I have drawn it to death. I think I've overworked way too much of it. So I'm gonna call it good. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for joining me this Friday. And I will see you on Sunday evening if you can make it. If not, sorry, but hopefully you'll enjoy the video afterwards. And uh, yeah, I will uh, save these Friday videos for bigger projects. And uh, we'll see you then. Take care, you guys, and thanks for joining. Bye-bye.